Although the meters have a memory on them, most healthcare professionals recommend that you get some kind of a log book so you can document and write down, keep some notes to yourself as to, so you can better assess how you're doing. All the meters come with their own log book, so you can use one of those, or you can make up your own. Just get yourself a notebook and write, start writing down what your blood sugar was first thing when you wake up, what you ate for breakfast, how much medication you took, if you take medication at that time, and then what your blood sugar is before lunch. At lunchtime, you want to write down what you ate at lunchtime. Again, if you take medication at that time, write it down, and then what your blood sugar was before supper. That way you can make a better assessment on how the foods that you're eating and the medications you're taking are correlating and interacting. Another thing that this might be very helpful is if you could start picking up patterns, if you need to lose weight, writing down everything you put in your mouth can make a big difference. And that way you can start saying, hmm, gee, look how high some of these calorie levels are. Did I really need to have the three pieces of bacon and three sausages and two pancakes for breakfast? Maybe you can start making some changes to help you with losing weight. The other thing that this might help you do then is zero in on patterns. I've had a number of patients who every Friday morning they noticed that their blood sugars were high. Well, we got back to assessing it and talking about it. They discovered that was the Thursday night was the night they always went out to eat and they always had a regular soda with their dinner. The only time of the week they had regular soda, but subsequently their blood sugars would be high. So again, look at those numbers, try to do some assessment and analysis to see if you can see some patterns. Are there certain foods that make your sugars go higher? Are there certain foods that help you to maintain a very nice normal blood sugar? Again, repeat your successes and try to avoid some of those things that cause you to th fall outside your, your glucose ranges.